Good morning folks, how are you all doing? It's Paul here from All About Motorbikes and I'm coming at you with another vlog today and it's another one of the uh, Teapot Tours uh, vlogs. I'm meeting up with my uh, fellow Teapot owner, Graham Calvert, aka Adventures with Woody and we're meeting him at Thornley Dale. So I've just set off about five minutes ago from my house and uh, I'm going to make my way over the Thornley Dale so I'm not going to bring any more footage unless there's something I really want you to see but I'll see you in Thornley Dale folks bye for now we're near in Thornley Dale I thought I'd bring you back and I'll let this camera run till we actually get in there I'm running a little bit later than I thought I might be, but hey oh, it doesn't matter, does it really? Better to be late than alive. God, it's such a beautiful landscape, this. I think our champion, the uh, North Yorkshire Moors, and uh, well, just North Yorkshire in general. In fact, I would go as far as to say the whole of Yorkshire, East Yorkshire, West, North, you know, South, it's all beautiful. I wonder if my good buddy Graham's there already. I believe he's actually turning up on Tetley. It's never a rush, there's no point. We're ready now over to his neck of the woods there, uh, and I'm really going to be looking forward to this. I really can't wait to ride some of the roads that Woody rides is, uh, you know, it'll be familiar to me, hopefully, because I've watched most of his videos. Oh, I hate seeing roadkill. I feel sorry for the poor little animals that get absolutely slaughtered by the traffic. And there's mud and that on the road here, so I'm going to slow it down a little. Oh, is that another road kill? More road kill. Dear me. Oh, look. This must be called Slaughter Lane. I saw one further back um, on the way here, and it was a badger. I buy what a mess. It's like looking at a dead body. Well, I mean, a dead human body. And I do believe this is Thornton Dale, Thornton Le Dale. It certainly is. Where are you? Slow it right down. I do believe that could be could be the man. I don't know. No. Oh. <laughs> He's there. He beat me to it. <laughs> Hello, sir. Oh, yeah. Well, we've met up at last, had a nice coffee, a bit of a chat and a catch up. And it's another Tetley's on tour video. Looking forward to this one. Ah, some nice uh, architecture around here. Look at that church on there.
So we're off down to uh, towards Woody Country now, folks. And we're leaving Thornley Dale. Heading down towards Beverly. Get the old heated grips on a little bit. It may look nice and warm, but it is a little bit chilly. I've got my thin uh, summer gloves on. Which is better because if I'd have put the other ones on, my hands would have probably been sweating. And that's not good. I don't like I feel more uncomfortable that way. What's this place called? Wilton. Oh, got another Wilton there. Eh? Respect the speed limit. So I'll get to see uh, Woody oh, and Molly. Molly the dog. Bless her. And so we're turning this way. Molten way. Oh, we're in a beautiful little place. Look at these cottages here. Am I still recording? Yeah. Wow. Lovely little, lovely little places here. Wow. Well, this bloody camera keeps messing about, so I've decided I'm just going to let it run. And uh, it can run that run, <laughs> record as long as it wants to. I'm just going to enjoy this ride. Four it is. That's a bumpy little road. Thankfully being smoothed out by this. So folks, we're heading down towards Beverly now uh, on roads that are used by Woody. You know, I absolutely love this. Out riding on your motorbike, which is something I love daily, as you know with a bloody good friend very familiar sort of that looking houses them and then you get that lovely and that which is nice too I think I'll have to go a little bit quicker because Graham seems to be, be a lot quicker than me. My God, that, all you can smell is cow muck. It's bloody lovely. <laughs> We're not rushing anywhere today. Are we, buddy? There's no need to rush anywhere. I want to take in all this. It's not often we get out. And we're coming up to the end of the riding season, really, for like motorbike tours and stuff like that so we have to enjoy it as much as we can well let's hope what I've got to uh, at the end of the day is enough for a vlog but if it isn't it isn't I'm not gonna spend my day worrying about it because I'm out with a mate I'm enjoying myself and that's what it's all about first and foremost is to enjoy your ride Secondly, is to bring you along with me, and I'll do my damn best to do that for you. Ah, oh, now I remember this road. I think this Graham uh, in his last vlog said that this road had been widened. Now I do remember this. Yes, this is a familiar one, Graham. 
I saw this in one of your vlogs. Plenty of gravel on these roads. So this is woody country I believe. And actually I'd quite enjoy coming around here on a, a little 125 or a 250cc. Now I've changed my mind about the bike I was going to get. I was going to go for a, a 125. Um, the Sinus Apache. Or a Lexmoto Adrenaline. But I'm not going to bother now, I'm going to wait and save my money, see if I can save up enough money to get a CRF 250. Ah, oh, this is more like it. No, I, I do like this. I really do. I don't, I don't particularly enjoy racing around these kind of roads. I enjoy pottering around these kind of roads at a nice gentle pace like what we're doing now I mean yes I can't see much because of the hedges but at least I know I'm going to be safe I'm not going too fast around these bends namely because I don't want to and for safety reasons too but then you get the open fields like that that's beautiful. These are looking familiar, buddy. I mean, they're not too far away from me, really, if you think about it. I've done 47 miles from my house. It's not that bad. The last time I was out with Graham I was forever leaving my indicator on for some reason. And that was something that I didn't often do at all. I was very always conscious about it. And I've nearly done it once this time, so it's it's you Graham. <laughs> you making me do this lad. But so you know, I, I'm conscious of it now, so I, I, I am doing so bad this time. I've nearly done it but not quite. I've not, I've, 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 yeah, I've remembered this from your videos. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, all right, yeah. Yes. Right. All right. Did he? Yeah, Love yeah. it there. <laughs> Just shows you what. what yeah, yeah. Right. All right. I've recognised it's woody country, like yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Brilliant. Yeah, fantastic. That'll do us. It's better that you tell me. I like I like these stops. You know, it's a good bit of it. I like history as well. See. Yeah. <laughs> Rebellious East Yorkshire farmers, eh? Yes, a bloke bought that church according to Graham to keep the Methodist out. <laughs> I love it. I like a bit of history. 
it is it's really nice look at that's a beautiful little cottage look at these now see for me folks this is what riding's all about this is exploring on, a, on something that you love being on you generally feel more at one with your surroundings on a motorbike this uh, motorbike the GSXF 750 is very happy to tootle about it in top gear at these kind of speeds in fact it actually is better in top gear at these kind of speeds you put it in a lower gear you know it doesn't, doesn't like it doesn't want to be there and that's the other thing about these sort of rides with Graham as well is you feel relaxed on your rides you thoroughly enjoy them you've got time to take it all in and that's the beauty about it you have time you're not worrying about your bends and things like that plenty of bikers out here today I mean pedally bikers I tried that kind of sport and uh, I lost quite a bit of weight too with it you know but I just did not like hills I mean I got where I you know was good at getting up um, but I hated doing that no it wasn't for me you bust in a gut to keep going oh look at these little birds crossing the roads don't you come out in front of me and let me run you over I won't like that you're doing well gaffer you are you're doing really well you enjoy these out with your brother see Tetley's the gaffer's brother younger brother may I add the gaffer's the oldest <laughs> Yorkshire walls, I like it, come on and this is definitely woody country these little roads are absolutely brilliant but I think you're quite happy to, you know to, these bikes will do this kind of road, they really will it says 40 mile an hour speed limit we're not even doing bloody 30 <laughs> <laughs> Dear me, how can you do 40 here? You can't! Absolutely stunning. I think the thing with me is I just love nature. I love the countryside. I'm not a city person at all. I never have been. I was born in a mining village in North Yorkshire. And I've played around in the hills throughout my childhood. And this is what I'm used to. And this is what I love. This is where I feel home. I don't feel home in concrete jungles. That's what I call them, concrete jungles. I don't feel at home in them. I mean, where I live, there aren't too many people. A few thousand. But it takes you a minute on a vehicle in either direction to get out of it. I want to thank you, Graham, for this. You're a, you know, you where you live is beautiful. The roads you ride are stunning. Look at this view. Wow! Wow! Look at that! Look at that! Isn't that stunning? Yeah. Huh? That is gorgeous! Everybody I brought here. 
Wow! You can see for must be 20, 30 mile over that way. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Blooming hell. That's stunning. I'm going to get my camera out to take a photo of that. It is definitely. I've seen it, I've seen it on your things, but this is beautiful, this. Yeah, that's, that's stunning, that. Absolutely stunning. Wow. What, what more can you say? Graham vlogging the gaffer you've got the gaffer and you've got Tetley look at that look at that absolutely stunning I mean you can eat the Hawaiian Hills as Graham calls it you can see all over there 30 mile plus where have you what have you Well, we stopped there and to take in that view there it was just outstanding. Why would you want to go rushing by this? It's just beautiful, beautiful. And this is, uh, say, yes, these are definitely the kind of roads that we'll be meet in the um, Highlands of Scotland when we do the North Coast 500 Graham. But as you can tell, we can't go at a fair rate of knots on these roads, neither. So you can't cover too many miles. So the miles that we've set ourselves up, oh, dear me. We've asked that we've set ourselves for each trip out, that's a nice apple tree there, is about right and it's going to be a long day in the saddles as well. But on these bikes, it's going to be an absolute amazing thing to do. How can you not love this? It's just stunning actually. I'm impressed. So he says that it's not the best view that. It'll take some beating lad. That will take some beating. Langton. Ah oh, the Langton Loop! <laughs> yes, that, uh, that name rings a bell from Graham's uh, vlogs, the Langton Loop. Stunning little village this, stunning. And I believe, if uh, Graham will probably correct me, but this is the village of Langton. There's too much to take in. And I'm trying not to move the camera around too quick for you guys. It is, it's Langton. Look at this! Kirk and Priory. Look at that, I love that. Yeah? 
<laughs> I'm gonna have to have a look at this. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely stunning. Look at this. Kirk and Priory, folks. Wow. That is beautiful. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go all the way, but. Wow. This has been one spectacular. I mean, look at the architect, look at the archway. It's obviously had a bit of restoration, I would have thought. Just stunning St. Augustine ruins. Wow. Amazing. I mean, oh, <laughs> I mean, what more can I say? This lad knows where to bring you. Oh, well, we're going to train. Even in time for the train. <laughs> Stunning lad. Ah, steam! You've charmed this to perfection! Yeah. So there's the modern one. And along coming here is the steam one. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> Outstanding. Oh, I'm sure you have, sir. <laughs> well, it's been amazing here. Fantastic this Graham, thank you very much. Do you know, I've got to say, through the power of social media, I now have a good friend who I can share my own enthusiasm with. We've got very, very similar tastes and ways, me and that lad. Friend for life, that's where he is, he's a friend for life. My daughter says <laughs> he's my only friend. <laughs> He's not, of course, but that's what she says. She says, because I've never offered off the phone to him. And she laughs. She loves it. She's glad I've got a good friend to go out riding with, she says. God, ah, look at the view here. Wow. Oh, stop here, Graham. Look at this. It's blooming marvellous. Yes, thank God for that. Look at that, folks. That is outstanding. Wow. Look at this, folks.
Isn't this what it's all about, eh? Did you see the uh, birds of prey? Yeah. Yeah. Red kite. Is that what they were? Red kites? Yeah. Right. I'll tell you what, they were quite large. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they won't. Well, I'd absolutely agree. Wonder what cut this out here. Eh? Was it um, ice, glaciers, and things like that that made this land where it is? It's, a, it's like a V, and so steep. And there's a hell of a wind coming through this valley. It's like it's channeling it. Oh, look at that. How steep is this? I wouldn't want to walk up there. Might be bloody buggered. <laughs> I would be. Ah, oh, this is lovely, this grave. I mean, look what we have on our doorstep, eh? Yeah, so I wonder what uh, created this. It's got to have been glacial. I will be, that's another question I've got to ask Graham. The trouble with, like, cameras such as the Drift or GoPro, they don't give you that, what your eye can see, feel it, you know, it just doesn't do it justice and when I say this is absolutely stunning it really is I hope it's coming out well for you guys to see some drone footage of this would be excellent oh, the, the drone tracking us down this uh, down this way would be absolutely fantastic as well maybe it's in the future eh You'd need a top box, really. Oh, it goes on and on and on. Wow. We're privileged, aren't we? Really to have the ability to do what we do to see what we're seeing and ride what we're riding we're so lucky outstanding these are definitely like the roads we'll be travelling in uh, on the North Coast 500 very much single track Wow, <laughs> this just gets better and better, Graham. Today I've been blessed, folks. I'm drunk on beauty. I'm drunk on this. It's stunning. Timber.